How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be installing another product from Gatekeeper Off-Road. The first step of this install process is to locate the evap canister. The yoke will take a little bit of gentle persuasion. So these tabs do not want to come off. Today we're going to be installing some rocker panels from Gatekeeper Off-Road and if you do any rock crawling you know that armor is very important in this game. So let's go ahead and take a look at the rocker panels. Now these things are very heavy duty. Keep in mind that they're going to come to you in bare steel so that means you're going to have to either paint them or get them powder coated. Now the great thing about this is if you have a color scheme that you're going with on your, uh, on your Jeep you're going to be able to match to that. If you did buy a Rubicon, you have the Ruba rails that are already installed. You're gonna to need to remove those. Now these will work in conjunction with those. You're just gonna to have to take them off in order to install these and then put the Ruba rails back on. So let's go ahead and get into the install. And I will. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is put down some painter's tape along the entire section of the rocker area. Uh, this is gonna serve two purposes. When you're mounting and pre-fitting the rocker guards, you're not gonna be scratching up the paint. Uh, we also have to drill 20 holes on each side so that uh, painter's tape is actually gonna give you a good area to use a Sharpie and mark the holes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll pre-fit the rocker panels. Okay, one thing that I forgot to mention, go ahead and take the doors off whenever you're doing this install. It's gonna make things a lot easier, especially if you're doing it by yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and pre-fit uh, the rocker panel. Uh, go ahead and pick you up a few clamps from uh, Harbor Freight. This is gonna make it a lot easier to hold uh, the panel in place while you're marking the holes uh, that you're gonna have to drill. Keep in mind that uh, you're not gonna wanna keep re-drilling holes. So you want to make sure that you got everything fit properly, mark the holes, and then drill. As you can see, we have everything lined up. Make sure you pay attention to the lines of the door. Uh, you don't wanna drill these, install them, and then find out that uh, the door is not gonna close. Okay, so now that I have a good mock-up of where I want this panel, I'm gonna go through with a Sharpie and mark all of the holes. Keep in mind that there's gonna be 20 holes per panel, so make sure you mark them all. As you can see here in the holes, the painter's tape uh, shows through. It's gonna give you a really good area to mark where the holes go. So we're gonna go ahead and center punch all the holes and then start drilling. Okay, I'm gonna start off in the back and then work my way forward. I'm gonna start off with a 1 8 drill bit and drill a pilot hole in every single one of the holes. Okay, so now that I have the first pilot hole drilled in all of the holes, I'm gonna step the drill bit up I'm gonna go to 530 seconds. All right, got the second round of holes drilled. I'm going to step up to a one quarter inch drill bit. All right, from one quarter, I'm gonna go up to three eighths. Okay, so the last uh, drill bit size is gonna be 1730 seconds. Uh, make sure you take this one slow. Okay, so now that I have all the holes drilled, I've got the painter's tape removed and I put uh, some paint on the bare metal. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start installing the rib nuts. Uh, now you can use a, uh, a method with a bolt and two nuts, uh, but that takes a while. They do make uh, tools that are specifically designed to install rib nuts. I would suggest going that route, especially since you're gonna have to do 40 of these. It's just gonna make your life a lot easier. All right, so in order to use this, you're gonna put the lever uh, all the way back. You're going to screw the rib nut on there and make sure you put it all the way into the hole. Push forward and squeeze. Once you get it uh, and bottom out, you're just gonna back the um, nut out. and you have a rib nut installed and it is just that easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of the 20 
and then we'll uh, put the, uh, the rocker panel on. Okay, so now that all of the holes are drilled, uh, we got paint covering the bare metal and all the nut certs have been installed. It's time to start fitting the rocker panel to the Jeep. Uh, now, keep in mind, do not tighten these down all the way on your first pass. We just wanna get them um, kinda of tight, loose fit. That way we can position this uh, and make sure all the holes match up. So we're gonna go ahead and get that started. Getting one or two in the holes to begin with. Okay, so now that we have all of the uh, screws and the bolts and uh, whatnot uh, installed and lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the doors back on and then I'm gonna put the uh, Rubicon rock rails as well as my ACE sliders back on and I'll show you how it looks. All right, so this is what it looks like buttoned up. Uh, this is the driver's side. The only thing left to do on this install is go ahead and do the passenger side. It's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna remove any rock rails that you already do have. Um, as you can see, they do work with the Rubicon rails. And uh, if you have the Ace Engineer sliders, uh, they do work with the Rubicon rails as well as the Gatekeeper rocker panels. Uh, these do look amazing and I would definitely recommend them, especially with the way that times are right now. It's always important to support local small businesses. Gatekeeper Off-Road is one of those amazing companies that uh, offers some really cool products. I recently just did a, a knuckle light pod mount install for them as well. Uh, it's another awesome product and I'll leave the link to that uh, video in the description below. So if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and head over to Gatekeeper Off-Road and help support a local small business. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner.